who's strong and brave, and who's here to save the American way. Yeah, Mencken's better. You think this letter on my head stands for France? I'm seriously asking. Spelling's not my strong suit. Is he holding up his watch to trick us into thinking he's Dick Tracy? All the leaves are brown and the lawn are gray. Oh, God, Lionel, that ring's not for your eye. Commissioner MIA and Mayor not appearing in this film. These guys are fine, but they'll never be Gabe. That is a lot of actors to play the Professor and Mary Ann. How many store-provided bagnies did you use? Phonofilm gave them so much money to use RCA instead. Clearly Clifton isn't strong enough to glue this story together. Chapter 8, Cremation in the Clouds, the story of using a fire flower in World 1-3. Wait, how many hyphens are in Technogas? Let's get a consistent style guide here. And now, on with our boring, our story. Sneaking around as if he isn't wearing the brightest blue pajamas. Assume the pressure hits 350 pounds, the gas will ignite and the whole place will blow up. Yeah, that's what happens when you give your energy contract to Miles Braun. Why can't the Galaxy's Edge catwalks be as active as this serial's? I'm surprised any other henchmen volunteer to go with Matson on assignment anymore. They gotta know they'll be killed by either Cap or Matson himself. You know, I could stress about making new jokes over footage we've already seen last time, or I could just read you some fun facts about garlic. Did you know that garlic has been used since at least 7,000 BCE? Did you know that Gilroy, California is the self-proclaimed garlic capital of the world? California grows 90% of the garlic in the U.S., but most of the garlic in the world is grown in China. Did you know that garlic is a close relative of the onion? And yet you can immediately taste the difference between an onion bagel and a garlic bagel. Did you know that contrary to popular belief, garlic does not ward off vampires? The only thing known to ward off vampires is keeping Blade in development hell. Did you know that Garlic is a member of the Amaryllis family? So that explains why it keeps teasing Ron Howard about his lisp. Did you know that Garlic Bread is a game changer for grilled cheese sandwiches? Seriously, have a grilled cheese with Garlic Bread, you will never go back. Did you know that Garlic would never direct a cereal this boring? So this is where the DA gets half his face burned. And once again, he survives by just being in a different place than we thought he was. Rescued from the brink of death by misleading editing every damn week. Despite the attempt to I've been trapped the in the studio all year, help! Works, only one of the buildings was destroyed, thanks to the timely arrival of Captain America. The timely comics arrival? You should be proud of yourself. Thanks, boss. Oh, sarcasm. Captain America has made a fool of you on every job you attempt. We did our best. I tried killing the other guy before Cap could, but no dice. Yes, Mr. Henley has consistently ignored my warning. And I thought he liked me. But I'm not beaten yet. He's trying to hypnotize the audience, but we're already asleep. Or well, none of the remaining members of the expedition will fear the scarab. Members don't fear the scarab. Eliminate Henley right under the district attorney's nose. What's with the carving of Maui back there? At least kept under close guard in the DA's apartment. Oh, now you're going to let that stop you? We don't have to be near him. Thanks to a weapon devised by the ancient Mayan warriors. You mean the Sangari blowgun? I mean, seems like any gun would work in that case. Our native Mayan agent, Sula. Okay, what was the hiring process for all these agents? We will post him where he would have an unobstructed view. At an awkward camera angle. The unobstructed view is just on top of the same building. This scene was a huge influence on the parking in Birdemic. Okay, one of these guys always lies and one always tells the truth. Up yours, up yours. Oh, what was the name of that guy from Adam-12? 
couldn't let the guy you're guarding enjoy the chair? Did I leave my keys here again? Okay, Mr. Gardner, I've had about enough of this confinement. Your life is still in danger. You're here for your own safety. Oh, hang the safety. I'm neglecting important business. Yeah, this is an intervention for your workaholic lifestyle. But you must permit me to go to my office. Ugh, squandering a remote work opportunity. Only I insist that my men accompany you. Thanks. I'll be only too glad to have them. Clancy, you stay here. We need you here to potentially get knocked out again. By the way, how's your internal hemorrhaging doing? Oh, it's a magic trick. The Sidewalk's a Hidden Crucifix, directed by Zack Snyder. Bring your car around in front of the building. You're taking Mr. Henry to his office. I'll follow in my car. Which looks like Cap's car, but it's different. The world's smallest chimney sweep. Huh, the same car again. Fine, they only have paper straws, I'll bring my own. Look, up in the sky! Slow-moving dart. Wow, he killed him with the blank that's used as a warning shot? Either way, Cap's kill count just keeps rising. Oh no, it's a number three pencil. The SAT will never accept this. What's that thing? A poison dart with your name on it. How do they fit my name on a little dart? I don't want to work. I just want to play on my drumming all day. He's sitting in his exposition headline chair again. I don't understand it. They're usually so bad at preventing all murders. What if that smart DA traces the blowgun here to the museum? That's hard to possible. He's a moron. Professor Grayson was the only one of you I had in my position. Dick Grayson's in this he thing now? We'll really get every hero except the real Captain America. No, we have nothing to fear from the district attorney. do de do de do just here not causing any reason to fear. And Don Adams lurks outside. Oh crap, did I leave my wallet in here? And that sound means it's time for our lightning round. What is it, Mark? He's got a shoe phone. It is Don Adams. Get out of sight. On Blu-ray for my Soderbergh marathon. He bumps into Colonel Mustard and Miss Scarlet going the other way. Must get in boner hiding position. Lucy, I'm home. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Mr. Gardner. What brings you here? Contractual screen time requirements. The man who made the attack on Mr. Henry's life. Yes, I read about it in the papers. A shocking exhibition of barbers. A gruesome haircut. And he's now safely on his way to a secret destination. It's the Sizzler on Harbor in Fullerton. I'm bad at keeping secrets. Ever see anything like it? Well, not outside of someone's orifice. A Singari blowgun. Used by the ancient Mayan tribes in primitive warfare. A valuable collector's item, Mr. Gardner. You could easily get 50 bucks for it on eBay. No, no. The only person who could have helped you was Professor Grayson. An authority on darts and blowguns. My authority is only in blow dryers. Yes, I know that. I've already wired Professor Grayson's family, hoping they might know someone who can help. So really, me coming over here was a waste of everyone's time. Good day. Bye. Ugh, why haven't we sent someone to kill him yet? Hi, mister. All right, sir. Ah, fine, you wore me down. The Hudson Hornet is on the scene. Sorry, my driver's side door is welded shut. I hoped I'd find you here. We just received a long-distance call from Robert Grayson in Northridge. Robert Grayson? The professor's grandson. The old call from the professor's grandson trick. Young Grayson has made a close study of his grandfather's work. He's really the Christopher to the professor's John Ronald rule. Fine. I'll arrange to have a chartered plane ready at Central Airport tomorrow morning, and you can find a weapon in Northridge yourself. I'll take a rain check on that chance, huh? Keep the change. And with that lucky change, he went on to become the richest duck in the world. And now back to Captain America's in cars getting coffee. Oh, this Holly Wilde story was just getting to the good part. Yes, ma'am. Here's some dope for the DA. Now he has dope? Man, I guess the DA can party. Identify the blue gun. She's flying a chartered plane to Northridge from Central Airport tomorrow morning. That puts you in the spot. 
We're all in a butt. Matson and Gruber aren't really there. They're just his shoulder angel and demon. Grayson's grandson. Great Grayson's grandson. I love old-timey exclamations. We'd better do something before the flow gun reaches Northridge. Which Northridge? The one in L.A. or the two in Ohio? We're going to do something before that plane leaves Central Airport. Central Airport, when you need your flight to meet in the middle. Oh, it's the other car. We get to see both of them in this one. The Scarab just has a warehouse of generic mobster guys waiting around, doesn't he? We're from the DA to check on that plane you ordered yesterday. Nice try. You're not the one person who works for the DA. Do the crumple step. Tie him up and put him in there. This is a dark episode of Wings. Dabney Coleman is on the case. Calling H1. Calling H1. Ugh, why did I have him call me on the radio that's all the way over here? This is H1. Come in. We're all set. Plane is ready. The mechanic's taken care of. Good. You'll have plenty of time to install the bomb. I'll have it wired in the plane before the DA gets here. A bomb on a plane? Oh no, an in-flight screening of Borderlands. We're just breezing along with the breeze. Prepare back copter for immediate takeoff. This is a fantasy, an airport with convenient parking. I'm the district attorney. It's my plane ready. So our yes, tax dollars are paying for every public servant to have their own private plane, huh? They didn't tie this guy up. He just showed up to work like that. Oh, great. Now it's time chasers. As soon as the motor starts, that bomb mechanism starts operating. Yeah, I know, Bill. We were in the same briefing. Everything will go up. Come on, we gotta look busy. Actual footage from one of Lionel's offset parties. Good luck, Gail. I'll make it all right. Bye. Bye. All right, time to launch this sucker over the wall of the Waterworld stunt show. Gages, this changes everything. Do you think Gale shares this plane with Lois Lane? Again, the ending of Casablanca always makes me cry. This is the worst pinata party ever. With Gale gone, who's going to tie my shoes? Oh no, the Sandlot kids broke Mr. Myrtle's window. A soup can? Andy Warhol's behind this. Yeah, my back itches. Give me a scratch. Well, I could rescue that guy now, but no, this definitely warrants taking a few minutes to change into my pointless alter ego. Damn buttons, Clark Kent makes it look so easy. Highway to the Avenger Zone. Well, here's the clouds. I'm expecting a cremation any minute. I wonder what's keeping the DA. I don't know, a moderately shiny object? Rowan and Martin's cap in. Oh, well, this is awkward. Now, go easy on me, fellas. I'm not used to neither of you being Matson. What if they had to fight somewhere without barrels or chairs? Wouldn't that be something? I know they technically have already a couple times, like that fight in the middle of the desert, but you don't actually remember that one, do you? Oh, we, uh, Gale Spin! Good thing Senor Card Gage got out of the way so Homestar could deliver that ladder. Oh, he's sliding on a furniture dolly like that one character in the Fright Fest Conjuring Maze. Hey, Cap, watch me do a somersault. Your form is terrible. Let me help. Oh, it's only half a stool with a mirror. It's for Jim Henson to crouch behind. There's our one allotted gunshot per fight. Like a toddler grabbing his mommy. Dr. Meacham on his way to meet Exeter. This cereal is engaging! <laughs> I long for death. Is that a harpoon gun resting on a baby changing table? Now, is this the pantry? I'm craving Doritos. Oh no, he shoved Cap into those things. 
Throwing things only works if he has a gun to knock out of his hand. Otherwise, he'll duck. Gale blissfully unaware that the episode's still going. The spinner from Twister doesn't translate without color. Is that a bird? I should tell Debbie. Meanwhile, in stock footage... The, enough of that. Back to the soundstage. Yeah, we know what she looks like. Well, just gone 10 o'clock in time for the gale in your airplane to explode. Well, we're back to Gale definitely dying and not just escaping at the last minute. Well, if Gale's really dead, I'm going to miss her next time. Certainly more than I miss Commissioner Dryden or Mayor Randolph, who might have died off camera for all we know. I would like to thank my patrons, not only for their continued financial support, but for watching these serials with me on Patreon live streams. Without their contributions, I probably would have fallen asleep midway through episode two. If you would like to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge will get you access. And at $2, you can see next week's Rip, another public domain short starring a Disney character, and this one is seasonally appropriate and I'll be joined by a friend this time. It's not Gail, but it's someone who has the same first two letters in her name. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to stand on the roof of my building with a blowgun. Not because I have any victims I'm trying to target, just because it's a good way to get some fresh air. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off.